Frederick Douglass aka Fritz Pollard. Early Life Fritz Pollard was born on January 27, 1894 in Chicago, Illinois. His father, John W. Pollard, was a barber, deacon at Olivet Baptist Church and a former slave who fought for the Union in the Civil War. His mother, Amanda, was a seamstress. Pollard had three older brothers, Leslie, Luther, and John Jr., who also played football. He attended Lane Tech High School, where he excelled in football, alongside baseball. He earned a scholarship from the Rockefeller family to Brown University, where he played halfback on the football team. Career Pollard led Brown to the 1916 Rose Bowl, where they lost to Washington State. He was the first African American to play in the game and the first to be selected to Walter Camp's All-America team. He also ran track and competed in the 1916 Olympics in Stockholm, Sweden. He also majored in chemistry and graduated in 1919. After graduating from Brown, Pollard coached at Lincoln University in Pennsylvania and played for various professional teams, including the Akron Pros, the Milwaukee Badgers, the Hammond Pros, and the Providence Steamrollers. He was one of the first two African-American players in the league, along with Bobby Marshall. He helped the Pros win the NFL Championship in 1920 and was selected as a first-team All-Pro. In 1921, he became the first African-American head coach in the NFL, National Football League, leading the pros to an 8-3-1 record. He also helped form the first black-owned professional football team, the Chicago Blackhawks, in 1928. Pollard was not only a football pioneer, but also a successful businessman and a civil rights activist. He founded the first African-American investment firm, F.D. Pollard & Company, in the same year. He also managed the Suntan Movie Studio in Harlem, which produced films featuring black actors. He founded two cold delivery companies in Chicago and New York. He was involved in various organizations that promoted racial equality and justice, such as the Urban League, the NAACP, and the National Negro Congress. He also supported black colleges and their athletic programs. Pollard retired from football in 1934 and pursued a law degree at Northwestern University. He later worked as a physical educator for the Chicago Board of Education and as a tax consultant. Awards Pollard's legacy was recognized by several honors and awards. He was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 1954 and the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2005. He received the Walter Camp Distinguished American Award in 2004 and the NCAA Silver Anniversary Award in 2006. He was also honored by Brown University with a statue and a scholarship fund in his name. Net Worth According to some sources, Fritz Pollard's net income at the time of his death was estimated to be between $1 million and $5 million. He made most of his wealth from his football career and later from his business ventures. He also ran a newspaper, a taxicab service, and a booking agency. He was reportedly paid $1,500 per game as a player coach for the Akron Pros, which was a high salary at the time. He also made money from his law practice and his tax consulting business. Personal Life He married his first wife, Celeste Pinckney, in 1914. They had four children, Fritz Jr., who was a football player and Olympic hurdler who later became a foreign service officer, John, Donald, and Jane Pollard Williams who was a civil rights activist and a lawyer who worked for the NAACP and other organizations. She also wrote a biography of her father called Fritz Pollard, pioneer in racial advancement. He married his second wife, Cora May Courtney, in 1935. They had two children, Catherine Pollard, born in 1936 and Judith Pollard, born in 1939. Cora died in 1978. He was a theater agent, booking African Americans in clubs across New York City. He helped organize the first black professional football league, the Brown Bombers, in 1935. Pollard was also a devout Christian and a member of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity. Relationships Pollard had many friends and admirers in the football world, including Paul Robeson, Jim Thorpe, Red Grange, and George Hallis. He also faced racism and discrimination from some players, coaches, owners, and fans who did not want him to succeed or participate in the sport. Death Pollard died on May 11, 1986 at the age of 92 in Silver Spring, Maryland. He was buried at Lincoln Memorial Cemetery in Suitland, Maryland.
Fritz Pollard was a trailblazer who overcame many obstacles and achieved many feats in his life. He was a talented athlete, a respected coach, a successful lawyer, and a dedicated educator. He paved the way for future generations of African-American football players and coaches and left a lasting legacy in the history of the sport. Having watched this video, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a comment or give it a thumbs up.